Hello guys, welcome back to Tenorshare channel. Recently I've heard that many users complained about their iPhone got overheating, especially when they upgrade to iOS 14.5. So today, in this video, let's talk about iPhone overheating. And I'm gonna show you the top 6 methods to fix this issue. And before we start, hope you guys can subscribe us and turn on the notification button so you can get the latest tricks and solutions about iPhone. Let's jump in right now. The first method is to close all the apps on your iPhone. That being said, running too many apps may cause your iPhone overload and it will just get heated. So try it. Swipe up from the bottom of iPhone and kill every single app that you launched before. That may possibly help. If you've upgraded to iOS 14, you can try method 2. Delete widgets from your home screen. Yes, widgets keep updating when you're at home screen. So if you also add widgets to your home screen, you can try to remove them. This can also release your iPhone CPU and cool it down if it's overheating. You can also swipe to the search page to clear up the widgets you don't really use. And the third method is very common and everyone who gets the overheating issue will do is to check your iPhone battery health. Go to settings, scroll down to find battery, tap on it. Here you can check your iPhone battery charging status and also find the app that used the battery most. You can also tap on battery health. Here you can check your iPhone maximum capacity. Since iOS 14.5, Apple has recalculated the battery capacity. If your iPhone battery is not the original one, you may probably have the battery issue that really caused the iPhone get overheating and Apple could not calculate the exact capacity of it. If so, go for a battery change and please change to an original one. Sometimes this issue may be also caused by the iOS version, especially every June, when Apple released the latest iOS beta version. It's common to find your iPhone heated if it runs a beta version. So check out the settings. Every time Apple sends you the latest version of iOS, go ahead, download the update and install it. If you're good with the current iOS version, you can also try to reset all settings on your iPhone. That means, go to settings. In general, scroll down to find reset. And here choose to reset all settings. Only the system settings will be reset. You will not lose any files, documents, data, or apps. If you tried above methods but still feeling overheating, you can try to repair operating system, which can solve the overheating issue by refreshing the system you're running. The tool we will use in this video is called Tenorshare Reiboot, which that can fix more than 150 iOS system issues without data loss. Go to Tenorshare.com, you can easily find Reiboot in product list, and free download it on your computer no matter you're using Windows or Mac. First, connect your iOS device to the computer. When the screen shows your device is connected, we can move on. Click on the green start button. Click on standard repair button. This won't cause any data loss, so go ahead. Then Reiboot will ask you to download the firmware for repairing. Just click on the download button and wait for the download process completed. Once the firmware is ready, click on start standard repair. Reiboot will start to standard repair your device. Usually it takes about 10 minutes to repair. Please keep your device connected while repairing. When the process completed, your device will become normal again, without losing any data. And you will be upgraded to the latest iOS. And the overheating issue will be solved. Okay, so this is the tutorial on how to fix your iPhone overheating. If you followed one of these methods and succeeded, don't forget to give us a thumb up. I'll be grateful if you subscribe. Stay tuned for our next video.